Let's go. Get up, get up, I think I got gold on. Good morning, fellow pioneers of human transportation. Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I'm out here on a Thursday morning. We started at about 7.30. We're out here on the Cabo Mantis. I appreciate your guys' support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. I like to interact with the base, that's for sure. Oh my God, we got all this traffic behind me driving like fucking assholes. We're trying to make a left here at sunset. So I think we're gonna cross and make a left like that. That's probably our best bet. But thanks for joining me, guys. So it's really fun to be out here on a new scooter, my Mantis. The hard part about it is wearing the box on my back. It's okay wearing my box on my back when I'm sitting down, like on my Roadrunners. So I finally figured out a way to get the box on this shorter deck. It's not a short deck, but it's shorter than my Ultras. So here we go, boom, bungee cords. I got a board under here, otherwise this bag will melt and I can stick my toes under there so this works pretty good the problem with this is you're going to wear out your rear suspension your bearings quicker because i'm riding 100 percent at the back but it's a hell of a lot easier than having the box on my back and i'm actually kind of psyched to be out here with the scooter like this if you're looking at this mantis and you want to buy one use my bonus code at horror motors electric scooter academy you get 50 bucks off and i'm always reminding you what you're really doing is supporting me as a content creator i work hard to pump out tons of content i enjoy doing it it's nice to make a little bit of money on the side since the delivery business sucks we have been out here for since we left the house well I th it's not as bad as it feels 15 minutes still haven't gotten an order that sounds a little spoiled it's 7 30 in the morning we're probably working two or three shifts today. It took us about 25 minutes, but we finally got a five and a half dollar order from Uber. It's only 0.8 miles. Let's go. I wasn't 100% sure about where this place, the waffle is, but I recognize the address, 6255. It's actually, a, it's actually a terrible delivery spot, but it's a great pickup spot. It's an easy pickup spot, so. I right, put in the scooter into mode four, 30 miles per hour about, and dual motor, let's go. Yeah, all right, so we're going to Sunset. Why is it telling me to go? All right, we know where we're going. Yeah, the pickup spot is right here. I normally wouldn't want to leave. Leave the scooter, like in this part of town, unattended, but I think we can do this here because that's the entrance right there to the waffle, and we can see the scooter the whole time. Just keep an eye on it. Good morning, guys. Hi, I got an Uber for Saluma. Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on the scooter, don't fuck around. All right, so, pretty easy, pretty easy. Nobody's fucking with the scooter, we're looking good. The drop off for this is right across the street, which sounds great, but seventh floor drop off, this is a huge ass building. This guy probably did tip though. It's probably only got a two or three dollar base pay. So he probably did tip. I mean, five and a half bucks. It is right across the street. This building fucking sucks though. I know exactly where we're going. But I know, I know where we are. So, all right. I don't know if somebody lets me in here or what. Oh, can you get me in here? I just have a food delivery. Thank you so much. All right guys, I guess we got in. Oh, I might need a code though to go through here though, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, I do need a code. Fuck. Hi, it's your food. I'm in the lobby. Somebody let me in. I need an elevator code though. Now we're doing the eight minute wait for, now we're doing the like eight minute wait for customer. We're three and a half minutes deep. I'm basically just stuck here in the lobby waiting out the eight minute waiting time and then I'm gonna leave the food here. Oh, are you my customer? Oh, okay, damn, I'm waiting for somebody. No problem, no problem. So he said security is here. No, there's no security no, here. I wouldn't go up. I couldn't get in. Now the customer is saying there should be security here. New message from he said, okay, I'll, he says, okay, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to, well, we're down to like, we're actually, all right, so security here, but you're safe with me. You got your food. Hey, it's all good. My pleasure. Thank you. 
I got you. It's okay. It's no problem. It's not nice in here. Wow, it must be early in the day. My patience is hot. Yeah, that was a crazy wait. When that customer wrote me, I never had anybody write, like, to say, oh, I'll figure it out. Like, not like I'm coming down or... <laughs> that was crazy, but she was nice. She was nice enough. She did tip two bucks. I mean, the restaurant is across the street. Uh, so we're going back to Chick-fil-A. I was surprised as we were uh, sitting there earlier that none of the regular drivers were out there. I wonder if something's happening that I'm not aware of. You'll see a decent amount of uh, like tents and stuff like that in my videos, but I don't think, I think it is terrible here, but be mindful of what you watch in the media. It's not as bad as you might think. Hey, there's a driver, there's Sam. What's up, buddy? I was here at 7.30 and I was like, I don't see none of the drivers are here. Maybe everybody quit. <laughs> we didn't have to wait too long for order number two, actually. It's a no drink Uber, we like this. Small chance they'll be ready, but let's just check them. Camera in K. Third time's a charm. Alrighty, thank you very much. We'll see you next time, buddy. <laughs> Over pickles, don't touch, just like God intended. What the fuck is that religious shit? This should be an easy one. We're going over to Stanley, and we got a code. We're going in. Yeah, I know where we're going, baby. Come on. Got to put the scooter in dual gear, dual motor, and fourth mode. Let's go. Making Fountain to Stanley, I believe. Make a right turn on Fountain Avenue. Yeah. Trying to wedge myself here into traffic without being crazy. All right, we're good. I believe we are right on top of it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice, easy to find place. And the entrance is right here. We don't need to tie up here. This should be a pretty easy one. Even though we've got a, got a code we're going in. We can just put it right here. Hey there, it's your food. I'm at 1347 Stanley. I, I'm at the right spot. I don't really see an access code here. Um, it's like right on the door handle of the touchpad. Yeah, I see it. It's completely dark. Oh, yeah. Weird. You can just leave it at the gate, then. Okay, thank you. That was a little screwy because right as I was telling him that thing was dark, you might have heard it activate, but then he said just leave it there. I mean... He's unit number three, he can't be far, so let's get out of here. I don't really want to go to Target Center and wait there instead of going back to Chick-fil-A, but I've gotten used to going to Chick-fil-A. I will be honest, I kind of like talking to the people there, to the other drivers who congregate there. So let's just go back to Chick-fil-A, keep life easy. That's two orders down. You man, I got Chick-fil-A over here. I got a tra Trejo's uh, donuts. You making any money? Oh, you got Trejo's? I love Trejo's. I'd like to go get a, uh, a fucking Abuelita right now. All right, buddy. I'll go get it. I'll see you later. We got a $9, 2.7 mile Chick-fil-A. I doubt it's ready, but let's just check. How you doing, buddy? Hey, that might be for me, Carson K. I know he got that Simply Orange. Carson K. We got the orange juice, but the food's not no, ready. Okay, no problem. You'll call it for me, right? Thank you. They did it to me again, man. They did it to me again, but whatever. Nine bucks, 2.7. This is going to be a semi-complicated drop-off too. This one has got some legs on it for sure. Slightly complicated drop-off going up Laurel, but we know where we're going. We know the neighborhood. Let's go. This is where the navigating gets a little tricky. Hopefully the uh, sat-nav, the GPS, will give us good directions. Be a little confusing, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we got this right. Hopefully this right up here is actually Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, all right, it says Hollywood, so I think we're, we're, we're okay. All right, let's go. Not only is this order incredibly far and hilly, but it's wet out, but we're close. We're finally close to the destination. 8614. I told you I'd recognize the drop off. Oh, look at this car though. Whoa. Is this an expensive car? 
Um, I remember putting this in the mailbox for the customer before. I've been here before. Hi, it's Uber. I've delivered here before. Do you want me to leave it on the mailbox as usual? Question mark. Now we got this long ass ride back to the city. I mean, that was worth nine bucks, except for the long ride back. We found ourselves pretty far west on Sunset. We took a different way home. But uh, all right, you know what we're gonna do, back to Chick-fil-A, straight, straight through Sunset. I like it that there's no traffic out here. It's fucking beautiful. We got a $8, 2.6 mile order from Tacos Gavilan going into West Hollywood. We're pretty far from Tacos Gavilan, so let's get going. Very, very slow for this first shift of the day, but I'm probably gonna work a lot of hours today. I'm probably gonna make multiple videos, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes, but these first three hours are terrible. Hopefully we can walk right in on this one. It didn't take us a long time to get here. This place is usually pretty timely. All right, Tacos Gavilan. All right, you got a Samuel P for me? Sam P? Thank you, yeah, of course, of course. Thank you very much. Thanks for next time, guys. Thanks, buddy. All right, kids, we got it. This customer didn't really give us good directions, but I'm pretty sure that this is a hotel. So we're going two miles down Sunset. Uh, maybe we'll take Fountain? No, we'll take Sunset, let's go. We're packed up pretty good. This could be our last order of the shift just because I'm only working three hours today. Uh, three hours on this shift and then three hours on another shift. Maybe three hours on a third shift as well if I feel it. But let's just concentrate on one order at a time and drive safely down Sunset. We're really out here fighting traffic, man. But we're close, 8635. Let's not hit any pedestrians. What are these people doing? Why are they just standing there? I don't know, let's go. Oh shit. We're close, we're close. I've got to be right here. Watch out for this old lady. 33, oh, this is it, 35. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? It's all you, I got you, I got you. Enjoy, right, enjoy. Hey, man, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got it done. Kevin K for Uber. I don't have Kevin yet, just give it No a problem, time. no problem. With uh, Kevin K? Kevin K? Yeah. Deep on Kevin K, not yet. Kevin K. Okay. Alrighty, team, we waited a long time for this one. It's a pretty good order, seven bucks for 0.9 miles. And then we're gonna call it a shift. We didn't make a lot of money today, but Proposition 22 will save our ass for sure. Going to uh, Hollywood Boulevard, and it's a meet like at the gate, 7278. So I'll try to remember that. Yeah, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. Let's go, let's go. Uh, last order of the shift for sure, friends. This worked out really good with the box on the deck. I wasn't sure if it would work. Sam, I'll see you later with a different vehicle, buddy. We're making some moves here. Gotta be careful, we're gonna make a fishy move right here too. All right, we're good, we're good. This construction here, they're really trying to kill the people in the cars, but that's got nothing to do with us, right? That was not really doing a good job for me. Are you my Chick-fil-A customer? No? Okay. Hello, um, I'm about to be at the front gate. All good, I'm here. How you doing, Kev? Good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Hey man, I got you, of course. Nice and fresh Chick fil A. Yes. Enjoy, bro. You too. Wow, that was a long wait for that order, but at least the customer made it easy. Oh, the fucking, my feet are wet. It's dangerous. Okay, well, let me get us home and I'll wrap us up, kids. I think we did about 20 miles range. I think this scooter's got about a good 25 miles range in mode four. That would be my guess. Let's go to home and I'll give you a wrap up. Fellow pioneers, we are done with the shift. We did pretty good. We worked about three hours. I don't know how much we made. We only did like five or six trips. It was actually pretty bad. But Proposition 22 is gonna come through. 
and make it so we make probably at least 15, 18 bucks an hour. Guys, I appreciate your support. I'm gonna try to bang out a lot of videos in this next couple days. I'll be posting almost every day for the next few days. Guys, you can really help me out by using my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, if you buy, wanna buy one of these. This is the Mantis GT. Any Cabo product, any E-Move product, any E-Move product, use my bonus code. You get 50 bucks, I get a kickback, and it really supports me as a content creator. All right, guys, that was a fun shift. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.